getting off the vehicle and I'm going to put it in a little spot so we can get a nice view of it. It'll hopefully go off. It's a nice little area that we're in here. It's fairly well protected and quite dense and so hopefully it will be okay. But I'm sure most of you can imagine what this is. Um, it is obviously got a fair element of danger to it which is why it's in a kind of cooler box. Now when you're opening these things when you have snakes inside is to always try and open away from you so that if they come out they're going to go that way and not into you so we'll try and get him out quickly without hurting him in any way come on buddy now unfortunately the reason why i have this with me is because in our camp today we had two of them um okay okay shame I don't know if you guys can hear the audio on my mic, but it's basically a puff adder. But what I'm going to try and do is gently just put it down like that and hold the lid open. Can you see it there, BK? Hey, eh? You got it. Okay, now the problem is, is that I want it to go out, but it's not going out. So we're going to try and just see if I can gently coax it. Now, of course, a snake hook would be much easier for this. Now, come on, buddy. Out you go. There we go. So, you can see it's got into a defensive posture. Now, I'm somebody that really hates um, people that handle snakes in the wild. I don't think it's a fair thing to do to a snake to be picking it up and handling it. But unfortunately, when they go into our camp, it's very, very dangerous, particularly with puff adders, having them in our camp at night. People walk and if they stand on him, then they're going to have a serious, serious problem. So it's important to rather get them out of the camp and move them, and that's why we took it out. Generally, I'm a big fan of just leaving snakes to be. And like I say, I mean, we don't want to really hurt this animal or for it to be stressed, but ultimately, it can't stay with us. And so, it's going to have to go here for now. Um, I was hoping that it would move a little bit, but you can see its posture at the moment is a huge defensive posture. It's obviously feeling a little bit nervous because it's kind of been pushed out of this safe, dark place that it was in. Um, and so it's gotten itself curled with its neck up and it's raised its body slightly so that it's in a strike pose that if it comes closer and it feels threatened, it can then deliver that huge cytotoxic venom. But you can see now it's just tasting the air, so it's working out where it is and how it's going to move to be able to get out of here, which is crazy. I'm glad that it's turned towards you guys. Do you have a nice view there, Biko? Yeah. But you see how that tongue is flicking? So that's basically it working out what's around it and whether or not it's safe and where it must go. Um, it's obviously a new environment for it in this particular area. The thing is, though, is there's another one that's in our camp. We, after we caught this one, we saw another one. So I suspect that maybe, just maybe, there's a female that's been throwing out pheromones and the boys are coming to investigate. But this particular one is one of the more kind of pretty ones that I've seen in a while. It's got a really nice kind of golden color to it. Um, sometimes they can be a lot more pale. But watch, watch how it moves. You see how it's walking on its ribs. Do you see how the ribs go forward and back and it goes in a straight line? Isn't that cool? Absolutely amazing. Off you go, little guy. Like I said, I didn't want to release it anywhere where it wasn't thick and it wasn't able to find some sort of cover. Um, here is a really nice spot. It's got a nice little area that it can go to um, where it can hide. There's a little bit of leaf litter, which is perfect kind of camouflage for these guys, which is awesome. That's cool. <laughs> Oh, we don't need the stick anymore, that's for sure. I'm quite glad that BK wasn't too averse to the idea of driving around with it. Some people freak out about having a snake in the car with them. Um, but BK was pretty chilled, which was good. So, Right, little puff adder. Off you go, buddy.